All right, guys. So it's that time of the month again. We're going to go over what we sold, how much we sold it for, how much we profited in our second month as full-time resellers. So let's go ahead and get this started. We've got here a sealed Star Wars laser disc. This came from the Alabama hall from the doctor's office. And this thing sold instantly for $90 with the buyer paying shipping cost. So we've got very little into each piece from this lot. So I've probably got like 50 cents or a dollar into this. So that's a really good flip. Next up we have this white uh, Ertl tractor. It's like this big, so it's kind of small, maybe eight, nine inches long. I got a whole bunch of these in an estate sale. It was an estate sale where you just bundle everything together. So I probably have like $2 into this. And as you guys can see, this thing sold for almost $100 with the buyer paying shipping. So if you see anything really detailed, any kind of models like this, um, they're usually worth picking up. The more detail, the better with some of these. Next up, we have this Milwaukee uh, polisher. So this is a big tool. <laughs> um, it had some damage. The cord was frayed. It was really dirty. It did run, did work well. Ended up taking a best offer of $107 for this with buyer paying shipping. And I got this from a churchyard sale for $10. Next up, we have this Canon PowerShot camera. So this little point and shoot camera. So I used to never pick these things up. I started watching Osborne to Thrift, seeing some of the prices he was getting for his, and um, made me look a little bit harder at these things. So I got a hundred and yeah, I didn't take best offer on this. The so full price, one hundred and twenty-five dollars for this. Free shipping. It was first class. It went into a small box. I did insure it as well, so I probably have like six dollars maybe in shipping. Um, and it came with nothing. I had to buy these batteries and the charger. They were like $10 on Amazon. I paid $15 for this, so probably $25 all in, and I got $125 out of it. Next up, we have this DS game. So this kind of blew my mind. I got $125 for a DS game that wasn't even sealed. This came from a big bulk purchase on Facebook. So I probably got like $2 in this. It's a whole bunch of other games. A bunch of really good games too. Actually, I didn't, didn't even look at these really. I bought the bundle for something else. So this single game paid for the entire bundle. I got this brand new Samsung Galaxy watch. As you can see, I even cleaned this up, but it was pretty dirty, but it was sealed. Um, had both seals on, on all four uh, sides there and I paid $40 for it. And I took a best offer of $130, guys. <laughs> so anytime, you know, it's I, I love doing best offers. You might get some people who really lowball you, but you might get other people who just, you know, want a couple dollars off of it. So for $130, paid $40 for this. That's a really nice flip, and it sold instantly. Like as soon as I listed it, within a couple minutes, it sold. So next up, we have this steel wheel. So this was a wheel from a car. Um, I actually bought this like a year ago um, in this huge estate sale buyout. After the sale, I went back to the lady and was like, hey, would you sell all the old car parts? So I got everything in that basement for like $450, I think. Um, and I've made thousands of dollars off of that stuff. This is one of the last things I have. It had an old tire on it. Um, and I was able to finally get the tire off and it sold for full price. So $117 buyer paying shipping, stuff like that's easy to ship guys. It's just a big square box. This is a model kit for a um, Harley Davidson engine. So this thing was not new. It was very dusty. Um, yeah, this was after it was, I mean, it's like the box was stored open. It was just full of dust. So Allison went through, made sure all the pieces were there and it was complete and we cleaned everything off and we sold this for full price so 135 dollars and i paid nine dollars for this in an estate sale so i'm saying guys if you aren't going to estate sales you are missing out this come from a yard sale it was ten dollars we sold this for 150 dollars so it took you know about 30 bucks off of that buyer paid shipping ten dollars all i did was plug this thing in i do not have anything else to test this with and I stated that in the listing, you know, I, I just said that it, it powers on and this thing sold within a day. It's a really nice flip there. Next up, we have more old car parts. So this was $5 in an estate sale. I took a best offer of $170. Again, there's no way for me to test this. All I did was make sure that all the parts moved 
And I think one of the secondaries, primary of the secondary was frozen on this one. But that's why I put right here parts or rebuild. So because people can use parts for these, they don't typically make parts for carburetors. You can buy the whole thing, but they don't make parts for them. This is a, a popular year, popular engine sizes. So I got $170 for this with free shipping. Probably profited. 120 130 bucks on that this also came from the alabama trip so i've got very little into this it sold for full price 152 dollars buyer paid shipping again this is easy to pack it's decent size but it's square so no weird you know, box sizes just go to lowe's home depot get one of those um moving boxes and that's what i usually ship stuff like this in and these are light and i find these things all the time you know, people open up small businesses, they get these, they shut the small business down. These end up in a yard sale for like 10 bucks. So uh, keep a lookout for those. This is another thing from that same yard sale as the other piece of uh, music equipment. This was also $10. This sold for full price. So no best offer on this one, $170. And again, all I did was plug it in, press some of the buttons, the display changed, and that's what I put in the listing. Another estate sale pickup. Man, and this thing was this thing was super cheap. This thing was four dollars, guys. I did take a best offer of one hundred eighty-five dollars for this. I knew this was going to be worth some decent money. It's a GM part. It's not some unbranded aftermarket part. This thing was in mint condition. I mean, there was like no rust on this thing. It worked. It was nice and bright. So I put that in the description, and I got one hundred eighty-five dollars for this with the buyer paying shipping, out of four bucks. This was a very large IKEA. It's like a slip cover for a chase i don't think they make this uh specific model right here anymore and this is for the full thing guys so you got the, the couch and the chase there this is a pretty big piece really no way for me to get decent pictures of it so i kind of just took the pictures as they were showing that it was an open box i took a best offer of 185 dollars for this so not too far off of what i'm asking buyer paid shipping and i paid 40 dollars for this at the habitat for humanity restore so Prison to Profit did a video on this. This is like a thrift store that nobody talks about. And I get so much money from buying from this place. It's unbelievable. It's probably the best thrift store I ever go to. It beats Goodwill, everything out of the water every single time. So this is the main piece that I bought from that lot that I sold the DS game for. So I paid $50 for everything. This Atari, even though the box was shot, it was complete. It had all the foam and stuff in, on the inside. Um, I threw some other games I had in with it, and it sold for so full price. So I paid fifty dollars for this um, on Facebook, and this thing, you know, thirty dollars shipping, it ended up going to like Oregon. So I think it cost me a little bit more than thirty to ship it, because Atari. I mean, these things are big consoles. So next we have some golf clubs. So I paid twenty dollars for these at an estate sale. They were new, but the box was open, and these sold for $230. So these kind of sat around for a little while. I listed them in the winter. As soon as spring rolled around, they sold pretty quick. So I, I took a best offer of $230 on that. All I did was tape this thing up and slap a shipping label on it. It already had an old shipping label on it, so I just covered it up, and off it went. So this is a cool flip. This came from the Alabama trip as well, where we got all that media. This was the first trip that I made by myself, um, and I picked out what I knew would sell pretty well which is like the horror and stuff like that and all the sealed stuff so none of these were sealed but i thought this was kind of a cool sale because one guy bought all of these so 63 27 22 dollars and 90 dollars for four beta tapes and these went to canada and he paid 72 dollars to have these things shipped to him it cost me i think like 50 or 60 i think because i mean this is not big stuff um, so I made money on shipping. It goes to a place in Erlanger, Kentucky, and then they distribute it out to all the different foreign countries from there. So it's super easy to ship international these days, guys. Again, if you're not doing that, you're also losing out on money. So overall, all this stuff went for $202. Moving our way up in profit here, we've got this Onkyo music system. So this is a full four stack of equipment here. This is one of our first videos. We got this, I paid, let me see here, $10 for this at a yard sale. And it was dusty, dirty, it had like paint splattered all over it. It took me forever to clean this thing up. And it was missing one knob right there in the middle off of the preamp. But still, I took a best offer of $280 for this. It fit into one 18, 18, 16 box. Um, and I put padding in between everything and around everything. And that was a month ago. So no returns. 
Um, I did test everything, everything worked. Even though this thing was disgustingly dirty, everything worked just fine. You guys saw me get this as well. I was really excited about this. This thing sold really quickly within a week. It sold for full price, so I got $378 for this. $65 shipping. Can't remember where this thing went. I also made a video that will be coming out soon of how I shipped this thing because it was pretty decent size. Probably like 40 something, 50 something inches long. Huge profit on that. I paid $50 for this. The guy I bought it from got it out of the landfill and I mean, it was really nice. It had a serial tag on it and everything so I got really really good profit on that and i saved something from the junkyard so also on this big profit so eight dollars i spent on this at a, an estate sale if you guys see these pick them up because they're always worth a decent amount of money this is a bow bar that would go on a chainsaw so it was kind of big but not heavy and it's really thin so it didn't cost any you know overage for shipping it um, and i got 290 so i took a uh, best offer of 290 dollars for this and it went to Australia. So, and this was not going to ship first class. It had to go priority international. So I think the guy paid like 80, 90, hundred dollars or something like that um, to have it shipped to Australia. Again, super easy to describe, list, take pictures of. It's a unique item. So if you guys see these, pick them up because they're usually cheap and they're usually worth a pretty good amount of money. Last thing we have here is this Pioneer Elite receiver so this was not a sealed box but it was brand new i paid 200 dollars for this so i had to pay up and i took a best offer of 420 dollars and the buyer paid 30 dollars shipping again this went into just a normal 18 18 16 box you can get from home depot or lowe's and really easy to ship it didn't make a ton of profit on this but you know if it's something sealed like this or at least new in the box i don't mind spending a decent amount of money on it if I know I can at least double my money and I think I almost double my money on this if not just a little bit over so that is some of the highlights from this month well, this past month would have been April 2022 I kind of wanted to go over so what our profits were for our second month of reselling so we sold our 175 items on eBay and we also did some stuff on FBA as well so we made $10,600 in sales on eBay and right at $2,000 in sales on FBA. So we're right at 12.6 for our total sales. And that does not mean that's how much money we made. That is gross sales, that's before shipping, that's before eBay fees, FBA fees, our cost, you know, that we have to buy these items for. And unfortunately this month was a really expensive month. Uh, we had to buy boxes for all these betas we had to buy boxes for the CEDs that I'm selling kind of a weird size what else we had the accountant um, for our taxes that was $745 to prepare all of that stuff we sent out two sealed beta tapes to get graded with their emergency grading tiers so I can get a video out for you guys for that that cost $430 we had $600 come out for just yard selling around here and then we had $2,000 come out for everything in the two separate videos that we did for the um the alabama trip so we paid two thousand dollars for everything there that all came out in the beginning and the end of the month so that's a lot of cost so our grand total for net profit for the month was only one thousand five hundred eighty one dollars i think i mentioned in the last video we need like four thousand something to just pay bills and be able to put aside money for taxes also have money to source with so we came up way short on that guys and that's why it's very important if you're going to do this full time you need to have money set aside because if we didn't have money set aside you know that three thousand dollar difference between what we needed and what we actually made that had to come out of what we had saved if you guys don't have that saved you're going to be um screwed <laughs> you're not going to have money to pay your bills in our case i wouldn't have let that happen but we would not have been able to make that big purchase you know we wouldn't be able to have two thousand dollars come out of our account because it wouldn't have been there. So I think it's very important that you guys, if you're gonna do this full time, make sure you have some kind of safety net set up so you can pull money out of. Obviously this month, we're gonna put that money back, plus the profit that we make of all this stuff. So hopefully that is a good in-depth look at how much money we made for April, which was last month. And hopefully you guys learned something and we will see you again next month with our profits. See you guys.